Right, so turn 225, I think we know a lot about that now. 225 is in quadrant 3, right? And so if it is in quadrant 3, we can write it as 180 plus something. What do we add to 180 to get 225? 45. So turn 225 changes to turn off 45. Now that is a special angle. Then um, sine of 180 plus theta. Now 180 plus theta is in quadrant 3. And we know that sine is negative there. So this should be negative sine of theta. And this is multiplied by sine of theta. And everything should be divided by the sine of 90 minus theta. Now sine of 90 minus theta, when you see 90, you can think of core ratios. So that will change to cosine. And that changes to cosine of theta. Okay, so we are using reduction formula there and the co-function values. Then we can simplify. Tan 45, we all know, is 1, right? So tan 45 is 1. So this is 1. Uh, multiply negative sine theta by sine theta minus sine squared of theta. Right. And all that is divided by cosine of theta. Right. Do we have an identity for 1 minus sine squared of theta? And it is? It is cosine squared of theta, right? Which will give us which will give us cosine of theta. So yeah, that, that simplifies to cosine of theta. Uh, two sine five hundred and ten. Subtract cosine of three hundred and forty degrees which is multiplied by cosine of negative 20 degrees, all divided by cosine squared of 110 degrees. Right. I'm happy because we cannot do these things quite fast. Like, think of 510. Where is 510, finally? Quadrant? Quadrant 2, are you sure? Because if you remove a revolution there from 510, what do you remain with? What is 510 minus 360? 150. Sorry? 150. 150. And 150 is in quadrant 2. Now, because it is in quadrant 2, sine 150 can be written as sine of? I thought we said sine, we said 510 ends up in quadrant quadrant 2, right? Because it's 150 really. So if it's sine 150, 150 can be written as 180 subtract 30. So do we agree it's sine 30? So that, that whole thing becomes 2 multiplied by the sine of 30, which is a special angle. Right, what about 340 degrees? Where is 340 degrees? Uh, quadrant 4. Is it in quad 4? Yeah. Right, quad 4. Uh, if it's in quad 4, then we write angles as 360 minus theta. So, and it's cosine there, so it will be positive cosine, so it still remains as cosine. And that will be cosine of 20 degrees, right? Okay. Now, I haven't, yeah, I'm just putting it down there. I'm just leaving it there. Just leave it where it, it is there. Right, what about cosine of negative 20? This is quadrant 4, cosine there is positive, so this is still cosine of 20 degrees, right? And, and cosine squared of 110. Uh, cosine 110, 110 is in quadrant 2, and the supplement, the supplement of 110 is 70, right? No. It's 70, so we can change, or we can reduce 110 to 70 degrees, but it's negative now, so that would be negative cosine of 70, but if you square negative of cosine 70, I'll just put it here for now, yeah, but we will square all that later on, because it says cosine squared, so we, we can do that, uh, so in this case, uh, 30 degrees is a special angle, what is sine of 30 degrees? 
All right, so it's 1 over 2. So 2 multiplied by sine of 30 degrees should be 1, right? Do you see that that numerator then becomes 1 subtract cosine squared of 20? Because that is cos 20 times cos 20, which will give us cosine squared of 20, right? Right, so all this now is divided by the denominator here, the negative is squared. So this will become cosine squared of 70. Okay, so this is what we get. Right, is there an identity for 1 minus cosine squared of 20? Nine. So this is sine squared of, that is sine squared of 20 degrees. Uh, but we are dividing by cosine squared of 70 degrees. Right, um, now this is where your question comes in now. Uh, instead of writing sine 20, we can write cosine 70. If you want, if you don't want cosine 70, you can write sine 20. So sine squared of 20 should be the same thing as cosine squared of what? We said sine 20 is equal to cosine 70, right? Which means sine squared 20 should be the same as cosine squared of, of 70. And all this is divided by cosine squared of 70. And so that will give you your answer of 1.